I got an interesting story to start things off today. Now in the comments of one of my other videos, I was talking to the Husky and Wolf Dog channel here on YouTube, and he was telling me how his dogs Kiyu and Phelan like to eat dandelions all the time. He basically said, I I'm pretty sure they're okay for them to eat, but I, I really don't know, so can you check it out for me? So that led me to where we are today. So, are Kiyu and Phelan a couple of smart puppies? Or does their dandelion eating ways need to stop right now? And now, the benefits of dandelion. Woo! Be gone, you foul weeds! You spawn of Satan! Infest my sacred garden no more! Whoa, 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 whoa! Say again, whoa! Dandelion should absolutely, positively not be considered weeds. Ever. Herbalists today believe that it can aid in the treatment of many ailments, including acne, eczema, high cholesterol, heartburn, gastrointestinal disorders, diabetes, and even cancer. According to an ancient Chinese medical text, dandelions were used to treat indigestion, inflammation of the breast, and inflammation of the cecum. The what now? Well, it's this odd little pouch connection in between the large and the small intestines. As far back as the 10th century, Arab herbalists recommended dandelion as a laxative, diuretic, and liver tonic. Some people actually use dandelion as a companion plant because their monster taproots actually help bring up nutrients from the soil that benefit shallow-rooted plants. It can also attract pollinating insects, and it even releases ethylene gas, which helps fruit to ripen. Dandelions are full of potent antioxidants, including beta-carotene and polyphenols, which is a big part of why dandelions have such a broad application for health. And these antioxidants can help slow down the aging process by protecting your little fragile cells from breaking down. In addition, dandelions have a variety of vitamins and minerals. Compared to broccoli, dandelions have three times more vitamin E, calcium, and iron, and 15 times more vitamin A. It's broccoli! Yeah! Well, I just saved our lives. Mm. Yeah, you're welcome. Dandelions have cisquiterpene lactones. Yeah, like I'm gonna remember that. Science just loves coming up with crazy names. Now, dandelion is considered one of the bitter herbs, and it's these sesquities which are actually responsible for dandelion's bitter taste. According to various studies, dandelions and dandelion tea help the digestive system by maintaining bile flow, mineral absorption, and soothing that sensitive stomach lining. Be calm, little stomach. Be calm. Dandelion root tea is also believed to help your digestive system and possibly relieve constipation. While research is limited on certain aspects, we do know that dandelion is a rich source of the prebiotic fiber, inulin, which has a very strong capacity to reduce constipation and increase intestinal activity. Dandelions have strong anti-inflammatory properties, thanks to their phenolic compounds. According to a 2013 review, dandelion's anti-inflammatory capabilities makes it useful for the treatment of gout. And a 2016 study showed how it can possibly help with rheumatoid arthritis. And in general, amongst other studies and medical experts, there is a plethora of research that shows dandelion is good at reducing inflammation. Jefe. What is a plethora? Nowadays, there are lots of different programs and products being peddled as the best detoxing solution for your body. Well, my friends, I suggest you forget all of those fads and look no further than the dandelion to get your detoxification taken care of. As far back as 1880, various studies have shown dandelion as an effective treatment for hepatitis and swelling of the liver. Did I say 1880? Well, as far back as 1543, a German study proved that dandelion root helps to alleviate jaundice and reduce gallstones. Much, much, much newer research shows in fact that dandelion, from its leaves down to its tappity tap 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 roots, is indeed the liver detoxifying powerhouse that people have long since believed it to be. Research in the Journal of Medical Food shows that dandelion also helps protect the liver against damage from drugs, including painkillers like acetaminophen. 
A 2010 study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology reported that mice, when fed a dandelion root extract, experienced a significant slowing in the progress of liver scarring compared to mice given a placebo. Health professionals even recommend using dandelion root tea for people who are on antidepressant medications, as these drugs can often impede the liver from detoxifying itself. There is a very good reason that dandelion has also been called wetweed, piss on lee, and piss a bed. Various human trials have shown that consuming dandelion causes a significant increase in the frequency and amount of urination. However, some species of dandelion have more, um, influence than others. So why would I want something that makes me go to the bathroom more often? Diuretics like dandelion reduce water weight, relieve bloating, and they are also what help your liver to eliminate toxins from your body. One study of dandelion tea showed it had a significant increase of urine output after just two one-cup servings of the tea. A 2009 National Institutes of Health study found that a single dose of dandelion extract increased the frequency of urination, but not the volume this time, within five hours of ingestion. And after all this, some experts say more research is needed. But given its long history and all the research that already exists, I think it's pretty safe to say that you shouldn't be having too much dandelion tea or eating dandelion at night before you go to bed, if you know what I mean. Unless you want to be having some accidents in the middle of the night. Now I've already talked about in other videos how rose tea and peppermint are potentially good for weight loss. But when it comes to helping to burn fat, dandelion is virtually unmatched. Not only can dandelion root and leaves help you burn fat, but it can also help you reset your hormone balance so you stop storing as much fat. It also helps our cells to increase our energy levels and speed up our metabolisms so the weight just melts off. Just like having a nice hard workout. Yeah, not really. But it's nice to dream, isn't it? One Korean study suggests that dandelion could have similar effects on the body as the weight loss drug Orlistat, which works by inhibiting pancreatic lipase, an enzyme released during digestion to break down fat. And this is backed up by testing on dandelion extract in mice, which revealed similar positive results. Hey, if you stuck around this long, then maybe you should become an eccentric subscriber by clicking on that button down below and then hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, as we just mentioned, dandelion is good at helping increase energy levels. And it's also good for helping to reduce fatigue! In a study published in the journal Molecules, researchers found that animals given dandelion had a reduction in fatigue and a boost in immunity levels. Other research indicates that dandelions are helpful at fighting off infections and boosting your immune system thanks to its antiviral and antibacterial qualities. Dandelion contains a substance known as alpha-glucosidase, which is nature's natural blood sugar reducer. Yeah, my blood sugar's chill. Now, inulin, which is dandelion's uber-cool fiber I mentioned, contains a complex carbohydrate known as FOS. I am not saying that out loud. Okay, fine. Fructooligosaccharide. There, you happy? FOS supports the growth of healthy bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract. What this does is increase insulin sensitivity, preventing spikes in both your blood sugar and your insulin. A 2016 review of studies from Aarhus University in Denmark suggested that dandelion extract also stimulates pancreatic cells to produce insulin, better controlling blood sugar and avoiding hyperglycemia. It in fact works so well with some people that you need to work with your physician to monitor your blood sugar levels. Because studies have shown that dandelion root tea has actually helped people reduce their diabetes medication. Researchers have found dandelion tea to be helpful for bladder disorders, kidney problems, urinary tract infections, and even possibly helping with cysts on reproductive organs. 2011 and 2012 studies from the University of Windsor in Canada reported that dandelion root extract and tea were both helpful against cancer. Specifically, dandelion slowed the growth or even stopped the spread of cancerous cells in both pancreatic and prostate cancer. And it doesn't stop there, baby! Recent studies have shown how dandelion can help with both leukemia and melanoma. And in one study, dandelion root extract was able to degrade cancer cells within 48 hours of use. Watcha! Fast action dandelion! Oh, 
what is that creepy white goop coming out of the air? It's okay. That goop is actually good for your skin. The sap of a dandelion stem is highly alkaline, and it has germicidal, insecticidal, and fungicidal properties. The sap can be used to relieve itching or irritation from eczema, ringworm, psoriasis, and other skin infections. And while the good old evidence boat hasn't fully pulled into port yet, there is research that shows how dandelion has good anti-itching and anti-inflammatory capabilities. Dandelion has the power to block out the sun. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Uh, sure. Kind of like that. A 2015 study reported that dandelion extracts are able to block harmful ultraviolet B radiation when applied to the skin. And if all of this isn't enough yet, a 2012 study in Nutrition Reviews showed how dandelion may reduce hyperlipidemia in rats. Which basically means it can help reduce your cholesterol level. Yeah, should have just led with that. Well golly, since you've gotten this far, why don't you go and hit that like button down below. It's fun, you'll enjoy it. So. How does all this work with dogs? The awesome thing is, is that dandelion's health benefits stay true for dogs as well. Woo! Really? Really, really. Yeah, it really is truly amazing just how good dandelions are good for both you and for your pets. Research has shown that pets like dogs can get the benefits of the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants just like humans can. So, Kiyu and Phelan, you are in fact smart puppies. Get on out there and eat up all the dandelions you want. Though you're gonna want to abide by some of the side effects I'm about to talk about. The absolute first thing you need to check on when you're about to have some dandelion is to make sure it hasn't been in contact with any pesticides. Dandelions can absorb pesticides very quickly. And while dandelions don't actually have many side effects, pesticides absolutely do. It is nasty stuff, so be careful. Dandelions are also good at absorbing heavy metals like lead or copper. So you also got to be careful with the dandelions if you're not sure about the soil quality they've been in contact with. The next big thing to look out for is if you have an allergy to any plants in the Aceraceae family. So plants like ragweed, chamomile, sunflowers, and daisies. If you are allergic to any of these, you could very well be allergic to dandelions as well. But it's not guaranteed, so you'll just need to check and see if dandelion and you are copacetic, okay? Dandelion also contains latex and iodine, so if you have a problem with either of these, you might have a problem with dandelions. And while it can help people with eczema, people with eczema are also more likely to be allergic to dandelions. Dandelions have also been known to cause dermatitis in some people when applied to the skin, especially children, so a little extra care might be needed when applying dandelion topically. Overall, dandelions are considered generally safe and well tolerated in adults if consumed in moderation. However, some people have reported side effects like heartburn, diarrhea, upset stomach, and irritated skin. If you are looking to take dandelion medicinally, you'll need to be careful if you are taking any of the drugs shown. If you are, you might just need an adjustment to your medication, so talk to your doctor to make sure. Other than these specific problems, you're in the clear! Go on out there and grab yourself some of the world's biggest forgotten superfood, dandelion. My new friend, we hang out. What surprised you the most that you learned today about dandelions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to learn even more about dandelions, then you can stick around and watch the history of dandelions, or watch the history of these other wonderful plants and herbs. Please, make sure to be kind, take care of each other, and get on out there and Give those dandelions a little extra love the next time you see them. With some people, when applied to the skin... Contains a complex heart carbohydrate. Comple- uh, common. To get your detoxification. Detoxification. Yeah, it's not an easy word, is it? BE GONE, YOU FOUT! What the f- <laughs> Friction forever! Friction. Forever. You see, in <laughs> you see, in traditional Chinese and Native American medicine, is there somewhere? <laughs>